Hi, I'm Andrew Hubert for China Solved, here on a casual Friday, uh, looking at some of the questions I've gotten over the last week. And uh, the, a lot of the questions this week were about uh, the subject of Guanxi. So uh, let's look at three of the most common questions that came up about Guanxi. Uh, one, what is it? What is Guanxi? Two, does it still matter in Chinese business? And three, does it matter to Westerners? Number one, what is Guanxi? It's connections. It's relationships. That's, that's really what you need to know. In China, it is taken more seriously. In China, it is a bigger deal. Unless you plan on living in China, speaking the language, and really immersing yourself in an all-Chinese environment, you don't have to worry too much about delving too deeply into the nuances and, and details of, of Guanxi. The, what I will tell you, the hint I, and the warning I'm going to give you is that the more people talk about it, the more concerned you should be. It's not something you want to hear about all the time. A Chinese guy saying, I've got Guanxi, is the same thing as an American guy saying, I've got great connections. When it's appropriate, if he says it privately, and when asked, when called upon, yeah, it could be very helpful. But if he says it too much, and for, you know, as a, a sort of an all-purpose introduction about why he's in the room, then um, it's a warning sign. It's a, it's a red flag, and you should be concerned. Think of the whole Guanxi subject as... Uh, being back in high school, but now instead of jocks and freaks and geeks, you've got senior vice presidents and entrepreneurs. The crowd you're in does really matter, but instead of being invited to the cool party, they are approving contracts or proposing joint ventures. Does it still matter? Yes, definitely. When Chinese are talking to other Chinese about business, this is what they're talking about. It is integral to Chinese culture, and it's part of the commercial DNA that drives business in China. Now, it's become very common to hear international Chinese types and old-hand expat types uh, tell you that Guanxi doesn't matter anymore, and there are three simple reasons for this. First, they're saying what they know you want to hear. Uh, this is very comforting for Westerners who don't know much about China and Chinese business. Uh, it's great to hear that, oh no, Guanxi is in the past, and now everything is code of law and, uh, and uh, above board and visible and transparent. Uh, it would be great to, if that were true, but it's simply not. Number two, after you've been in China for a while, uh, you really don't see it anymore. But trust me, it's there. Uh, and if you don't know the signs and you don't know what to look for, you can have problems. And three, it gets boring and frustrating to talk about after a while. Uh, it's, it's a pain, and people, uh, even, even Chinese people who have good connections and who have good guanxi, uh, find it boring and cumbersome. Uh, it's the Chinese version of saying taxes are too high. Yeah, it's true, everyone knows it, uh, there's not much you can do about it, and uh, after a while, only the, the crazy guys talk about it all the time. Does it matter to Westerners? Yes, it does, but not in the way you want it to. It won't ever really help you. But if you mess it up, it can hurt you. It can work against you. And there are two classes of guanxi difficulty or guanxi grief that you can run into. And the first kind of problem is uh, relationships with the wrong people, just so you can say you have an insider advantage. I've seen a lot of um, Chinese consultants and uh, experts say that if you don't have insider connections, if you don't have Guanxi, uh, you, you will never be successful in China. And then it's absolutely necessary to have someone with Guanxi in order to uh, do business in, in China. They're not wrong, but they're not right either. If your insider, if your Guanxi guy is a senior VP uh, from Wharton Business School who's been with your company for 20 years and he happens to come from Beijing and speaks flawless Mandarin uh, and he knows your business and he knows your company really well, then great. This, this is obviously going to be a tremendous advantage to your business. But if your Guanxi guy is your uh, IT assistant's aunt's neighbor who still lives in Beijing, uh, and you decide that this is going to be uh, your representative in China just so you have an insider, then you are opening up uh, your, yourself and your company to all kinds of problems. 
So you've got to beware of consultants and partners and key staffers whose only credential, whose only advantage is their Guanche connections. Uh, more, more often than not, these guys are going to cause problems and not help you in any way. But the second type of Guanche grief is even more significant. When you're spending money and you're, you're paying out and you're hiring, everything gets laughed off and uh, accounted to uh, cultural differences. And uh, that explains away everything. But when you are trying to collect money or you're trying to get that person that you partnered with or hired to perform and do what they said they were going to do, then they become a lot more sensitive. Now, the problem is that because of Guanji, because of this network of connections, uh, you're not only going to have a problem with the direct counterparty uh, that you have offended, but you're going to have problems with everyone he knows. Uh, everyone in his or her network is going to be uh, involved in this, in this altercation, in this difference of opinion. Uh, everyone in that person's network might just be everyone in your network. So when it comes to Guanchi, you've got to play defense. Don't, uh, don't make plans for it to help you much, but uh, your efforts should be making sure it doesn't work against you. So to review, uh, Guanchi, what is it? It is a network of connections and relationships. Uh, it exists everywhere in China. It's a little bit more stylized, a little bit more ritualistic, and a little bit more important. Number two, does it still matter? Yes, it matters a lot to the Chinese. This is uh, what Chinese people talk to each other about when they discuss business. Anyone who tells you that it no longer matters is probably telling you what you want to hear, and um, you should be concerned. Will Guanxi help you? No. If you're not Chinese, Guanxi will probably never work for you, but it can work against you if you make mistakes. So D up, uh, play a little defense, and make sure that you are uh, not offending people who know everyone in your office or business. Okay, with that, we're going to finish up. Thank you very much for China Solved. This is Andrew Hubert.